When Topsy arrived at Coney Island, her reputation preceded her. Regarded as a savage beast, she'd killed several trainers. Though her characterization as a monster was largely exaggerated by the press, nevertheless, it was decided that she had to be put down. And on January 4th, 1903, with cameras rolling, and a crowd of 1,500 looking on. Topsy, fitted with electrodes and copper-lined sandals, was electrocuted to death. While technicians associated with the Edison Company were the ones who flipped the switch, and it was Edison's movie camera that captured the spectacle, Thomas Edison's actual involvement has been the subject of debate and rumor. By 1903, Edison had long since exited the electricity business, having lost the war of currents a decade earlier. But given the propaganda campaign he led during that fight, it's easy to see why Topsy's death has been so often connected to the name Thomas A. Edison. Shortly after devising the first practical incandescent light bulb, Thomas Edison began developing a system for electricity distribution. He founded the Edison Illuminating Company in 1880, which delivered direct current power. Direct current installations went up throughout the country, but Edison's system had one major flaw. It couldn't cover great distances. So Edison turned to Nikola Tesla, asking him to make improvements Tesla recommended the use of alternating currents instead of direct currents, but with so much already invested in his DC patents, Edison dismissed the idea. Though lucky for Tesla, his AC electricity supply system caught the attention of another electrical industry pioneer, George Westinghouse. In the late 1880s, Westinghouse paid a visit to Tesla's laboratory and offered him $60,000 for his patents, as well as significant shares of stock in the Westinghouse Corporation. Tesla accepted, making instant rivals out of George Westinghouse and Thomas Edison. It was alternating current versus direct current, AC versus DC, a war of currents that would decide how to power the country. With Tesla's AC generators, Westinghouse quickly cut into Edison's business. Edison was deeply dismayed, but hoped he could still win over the public and launched an aggressive propaganda campaign to discredit Westinghouse and his alternating current as a system that was inherently dangerous. Edison's anti-AC crusade was helped along by a man named Harold Brown, who began holding a series of public electrocutions, using alternating currents to kill animals, like dogs, cows, and horses. Brown was not an employee of Edison's, but Edison was well aware of his activities on behalf of direct current, and even helped fund some of Brown's demonstrations. Edison was desperate, and by 1890, his campaign against Mr. Westinghouse took a much darker turn. Edison was opposed to capital punishment, but he wasn't going to let that get in the way of another opportunity to vilify alternating currents. He endorsed electrocution as a more humane method of execution. And when William Kemmler was put to death on August 6, 1890, the first person in the world executed using an electric chair. It was alternating currents that were sent coursing through his body. But in a few short years, Edison would find himself on the losing side of the war of currents. In 1893, Westinghouse underbid Edison's General Electric for the privilege of lighting the Chicago World's Fair. The greater efficiency of alternating currents was on full display and Edison surrendered. He bowed out of the electricity industry, leaving behind a tale that underscores the price of progress and the travails of pride. <laughs>